with Brett Brown out of Philadelphia, Doc Rivers in as the new coach, Daryl Morey, the new GM of the Philadelphia 76ers. We see all these rumors and reports of James Harden being eyed to get traded to the Philadelphia 76ers, and I'm here to tell you why this is not going to happen. There is little to no scenario in which I see James Harden at all being traded to the Philadelphia 76ers, but man, let's stop wasting time and let's hop right into the video though. Like I just said in the beginning of the video, congratulations to Doc Rivers on becoming the coach of the Philadelphia 76ers. We saw it never worked out in LA back in his days with Lob City when they were all in their prime. And then we saw with Kawhi Leonard and Paul George, he clearly couldn't get it done in the bubble. I would have given Doc Rivers maybe one more year to make it work with this LA team, but they've moved on. Tyron Lue is now the new head coach for the Los Angeles Clippers as well. And for the Philadelphia 76ers, as I said, Daryl Morey, Former Houston Rockets GM is now the general manager for the Philadelphia 76ers. Brett Brown's out of Daryl Morey built this Houston Rockets offense into what it was to fit James Harden's playing styles, to fit Mike D'Antoni's offensive three-point base shooting system, and to allow James Harden to have space on the perimeter to isolate and kick out to defenders and to be the competitive team that they were. Even though they never made the finals under Mike D'Antoni or under Daryl Morey as well, they were always a surefire or a conference finals like team to be competing for the NBA finals and to give a team a run for their money. They did get gentlemen swept by the Los Angeles Lakers. And me, I've never been a believer in James Harden or Russell West. The rumors have been, is it time to move on from Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid? And this may be the perfect opportunity, but I don't see it happening. And here's why. First, let's start off with the obvious. Philadelphia is under horrible contract created by their old GM. They've got Ben Simmons under contract, Joel Embiid under contract, a horrible old Al Horford who's probably not as bad as he looks, just he's on the wrong team in the wrong system on a $109 million deal. And then you've got Tobias Harris on a $180 million max contract. They are just absolutely swamped in cap space. They need to move on from these contracts, but it's going to be hard to do. So if I'm the Philadelphia 76ers, even though you want to trade for a guy like James Harden, and the only realistic way you'd be able to do that would be to move on from Joel Embiid or Ben Simmons. Who are you picking? Me? I'm taking Ben Simmons all day, any day of the week. I know he hasn't developed that jumper yet, and he's probably never going to be able to develop a consistent outside three-point shooter. But what you can do in Philadelphia is if Doc Rivers can level his raise and his play of game, you can build a Giannis Antetokounmpo-like system around Ben Simmons, who's already just a notch below of a defender that Giannis is, but he's much, much better of a ball handler and a passer than Giannis will be. He's not the dominant force on the offensive end that we see Giannis can be, but their playing styles are similar. Ben Simmons is still a top 20 player, I would say, in the NBA when healthy. You need to build your team around Ben Simmons, not Joel Embiid. He chooses when he wants to be the most dominant center night in and night out. He has the potential to be, but it has not been proven yet. And Joel Embiid, I'm sorry. Ben Simmons fits the modern NBA much, much better right now. I know he's not a three-point shooter, but if he can just even develop a 15 to 20 footer consistently, his game is going to translate much better. Dominant big men in the post and a guy who doesn't shoot that well from three is not fitting. Joel Embiid, you can get assets for him in return. And yes, I would try to move on from Tobias Harris and Al Horford as well. But the problem with that is nobody's taking those contracts. So unless you can find someone to take those contracts, you're going to have to give up other assets as well to move on from those guys. But James Harden moving on from the Rockets, even if it was to Philadelphia, which that would not happen. I'm here to say it. How does Houston win that trade? Let's say they do get Embiid. Let's say they get Horford or Tobias as well or any other assets. Like Houston does not win that trade whatsoever. James Harden is a prolific isolation scorer. One of the best scorers in the NBA, if not the best up there with Kevin Durant. You know, he's not making it in the playoffs. We've seen him choke and fold time and time again. But James Harden is still a top eight player in the NBA. You can't move on from James Harden and not expect to get equal or better value in return. It's just not possible. And even if they did, then you got to move on from Russell Westbrook and just send the tank trank all the way up. Because you know what? Russell Westbrook's not going to do it by himself either. So if you move on from Harden, you're moving on from Westbrook. If you move on from Westbrook, you're probably moving on from Harden. But who knows? I don't see the Rockets being able to trade James Harden and get anything of equal or better value in return. But Philadelphia, let's be real. You have nothing that's incentivizing enough to get the Houston Rockets to pull the trigger and say, that is a deal we cannot snatch up. You need your draft capital for the future because you're under those bad contracts. Former GM has screwed you for years to come as well. 
especially when you guys drafted Markel Fultz, who's happily in Orlando now, playing great. You guys could have had Donovan Mitchell, Jason Tatum, and a handful of other great players from that draft. You guys gave up draft capital. Stupid. You guys screwed yourselves over. The Sixers, even if you guys continue to stay with Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons, Al Horford and Tobias Harris for this year, I don't think Doc Rivers is going to elevate you guys to a level that's going to make you guys finals contenders in the Eastern Conference. We're getting Kevin Durant and the Nets back. We're seeing another year of Giannis Antetokounmpo on the Bucs if he's not traded. We get to see this Miami Heat team continue to keep improving. The East is going to continue to be dominant, and this is not going to be an easy year for Philadelphia. I hate to break it to you. Although Philadelphia does have the pieces to contend, it's not going to happen. So, the plain answer is simple. No, the Sixers are not getting James Harden. James Harden is not getting traded from the Rockets. They would be idiots to move on from James Harden while he's in the midst of his prime, even though he does not have Mike D'Antoni anymore. This is not going to happen. I don't even see James Harden being moved on from the Rockets this offseason. Anyone's going to be moved. It's going to be Russell Westbrook. Mark my word. For this video, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the content, make sure you guys please like, share, and subscribe down below as well. I'm going to be trying to get some more people onto the channel as well on these Zoom calls to have debates and chats. Let me know anything else that you guys want to see, whether it's topics or other ideas that you guys have out there for the channel. Make sure you guys drop those in the comments down below as well. And I'm going to link all of my socials, Instagram and TikTok as well, in the description as well. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much. And I'm out, boys. Peace.